YouTube, glad to see you here once again. Now, today's video is about a battle of two CPUs that are completely identically priced, especially from my angle, since I paid $499 for each one of these CPUs. So today's video is pretty much taking the AMD, the brand new Ryzen 3900X, and taking it up against the Intel i9-9900K. And like I said, both of these CPUs are identically priced at $499. I'm sure around the net you might be able to find them for a little cheaper, a little more, but I got both of mine for $499. So to me, it's a very, very head-to-head -head battle. Now, there are some slight differences. For one thing, the AMD CPU is a 12-core CPU. The Intel CPU is only an eight core CPU. So it's obvious for you, in my mind that things that are probably gonna require more multi-threading and stuff should just by nature run better on the AMD CPU. And I guess we go through this video, we'll see if that's exactly what's going on. Now, we use two similar systems to do the testing on in this video. You guys can see the different specs here, but they're pretty similar, 16 gigabytes of RAM, same SSD for the boot drive, same storage drive, Barracuda drive for both systems. They're both very similarly priced. We're using the latest windows that we can get our hands on. All of the updates are there and we're using all of the latest drivers that were available at the time of this video to bring you guys these tests. One thing I know that everybody is going to ask is they're going to ask what were the memory timings? Well, I set the memory profiles to both sets of memory to their XMP profile. So the memory speed honestly isn't going to be that much of a grand difference when we're talking about these slight differences of numbers anyways. You're not gonna be seeing like 20 frames per second or 10 frames per second different or anything just because you know one memory timing might be a slightly bit faster than the other. Now in some applications that may have you know a difference in results but just in standard testing and everything everything should be the same so with that said though let's jump in let's talk about the testing the scoring and then at the end of the day which one you might want to buy for yourself so let's rock out to the benchmark song
Now, one thing I want to talk about right off the bat is you can see that the AMD CPU is running at 53 Celsius and the Intel is running at 75. And I want to really talk about this. The cooler that we used on the AMD CPU is actually a much better cooler. It's a Corsair aftermarket one. It has a lot more features, I think, than the one that was built into the case when we built my system, but we just decided to go with that since this particular case had a liquid cooler in it. Now, I think that if I actually changed and reversed things around, which we might do, I might see some differences. Now, I cannot say between these two CPUs that one CPU is the totally clear winner because it's going to depend on what you're doing now obviously like i said in the very beginning of the video things that have to take advantage of multi-core technology having 12 cores you're definitely going to see in multi-core results amd doing better because well more cores is more cores but like usual in single core performance we're seeing that the intel cpu is still winning pretty much across the board in those type of applications now as far as workflow goes and stuff like that if you're getting your computer to do editing and stuff like that i think i probably would go with the amd cpu just for the simple fact because if you're going to be able to do a lot more multi-threaded stuff and do editing you want to have the most powerful cpu you can get and for multi-threaded applications we're seeing the 3900 is doing better now if you play nothing but older games and you're nothing but a gamer there are still a lot of games that only use single thread they don't even take advantage of multi-core technology so if you're a person who plays a lot of games or older games then you might consider you know getting the i9 cpu um me personally this is the first amd system that's come across my desk in a long time that i'm like yeah I would use this system as my personal system. The system we built, I think, is a really great system. It runs everything awesome. Not that the Intel CPU and everything doesn't run everything awesome as well, it really does. Now, another thing I wanna to touch on, PCIe 4.0. Okay, we're seeing that as far as the video card testing goes, there's really not much of a difference whatsoever between whatever system you're using, whether it's an Intel-based system or the AMD-based system. I'm not seeing any great performance in PCI 4.0 in gaming, and I really don't think it's really meant to. I think that when I do my testing of, I have a Patriot M2, and I think when I do the Patriot M2 testing, it's going to be fully taking advantage of all the PCI 4.0 stuff, and so I think we're gonna definitely see a difference between the two systems when I do that testing. But just for what we're doing today, for gaming, standard stuff with normal hard drives, um, I don't really see that PCIe 4.0 is really doing that much whatsoever. And a lot of people just don't have M2s that are a little bit more expensive. And that's just the way things go. So I thank you guys for watching this video. I always welcome all of your comments. Um, those are the facts. Those are the numbers. Um, you guys hear my opinions. So do what you want out there. I'm sure that people who are diehard Intel you know, fans are going to be like, I'm not going to buy that AMD CPU. And the people who don't like Intel are going to be like, I'm not going to buy that Intel CPU. But, you know, I don't do stuff like that. For me, I look at the raw numbers. And I guess probably in the long run, the 3900X probably has more potential because as we move into the future, more cores, multi-threading is going to become more relevant than single core stuff. And you guys can see on the productivity side of things, which is what I do as well, it's a little bit better. So, um, I don't know. Same price, you decide, you make your choices. Peace and thanks for watching.